I know it's here somewhere. Finally, finally. Oh, it's time for the duck. You're listening to Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. Ah, oh, take it away, doctor. Well, it's that time again, and the doctor is in. It's time once again for Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. And it's time for this netcast, which is a very unique netcast. We're going to call it the media edition, <laughs> because we've got so much going on in the way of different kinds of media. First thing I want to share with you is that we are proud members of the Tech Podcast Network. Techpodcast.com, if it's tech, it's right here on Dr. Bill the Computer Curmudgeon. And we are also proud members of the International Association of Internet Broadcasters. I got tickled because I was about to dive in. See, this is how my brain works. I was about to dive into the first item, and then I remembered, oh yeah, I have got to do the net Tech Podcast Network ads. I threw that in. Uh, it's not easy being me. <laughs> yes, Fred. It's not easy being you either. <laughs> Fred's miffed because he has to put up with me being me. Yeah. Okay, let's go to that first item that I'm so anxious to get to. The Slingbox Company has released a new edition of the Slingbox called the M2. I like that. Uh, now, I had one of the original Slingboxes. As a matter of fact, it's probably back there on a shelf. In my junk shelves. Uh, not that everything back there is junk, right, Tux? Not everything is junk. <laughs> anyway, you know, jury's out on the angry birds and the and the pig over here. But anyway, <laughs> so it's an odd show already. Um, I had an original sling box. Actually, I won it in an event that I went to. <laughs> they had like door prizes, and I got a sling box. And I went, ooh, cool. And it was actually quite cool. This was way, way back. Way back. <laughs> the internet was just catching on. Now, anyway, it was it was just it was a thing. But this is a new one. This is a new cool one that has all kinds of neat stuff. Live TV, viewing from anywhere, live sports. The apps are no longer uh, additional costs. They have ads in them which you could argue various directions on that, but anyway. <laughs> this is taking a stab at consumer mainstream media. The Sling Media Company has launched the Slingbox M2, a video place, place shifter. I like that. Place shifter because you can watch over your phone or your tablet or some other device from your TV recorded stuff that you have at home. That's what the Slingbox does. Anyway, it won't require you to buy the requisite mobile apps, but will expand its use of advertising. Yes. So that's what it's all about. It is outfitted with Wi-Fi and 1080p capabilities and has a manufacturer's suggested retail price of $199.99. That one penny under 200 is kind of the magic number that everyone shoots for. So you'll probably be able to get it even cheaper if you know the right place to go. And get it, which I don't. But anyway, I wouldn't mind having it, though. Sounds like a lot of fun. It's the kind of thing that if you became a patron of this show, we could get and try. Yes. So I encourage you to go to patreon.com slash or whack, whack, Drville, D-R-B-I-L-L, -L, as it says there on the screen. Become a patron of the show, and I'll get stuff that we can review and look at and play with. Yes. Well, Fred, it's worth a shot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, so I've got various videos on the blog this week. Of course, the blog is drbill.tv, D-R-B-I-L-L.tv, as it says there on the screen. The first one I have, if you, yeah, you really need to watch this. It's actually quite funny. Looney Tunes and Chuck Jones. It talks about Chuck Jones' growth as a developer of wonderful cartoons and animations. It's actually cool. It's got a lot of neat Daffy Duck and, you know, Roadrunner and Bugs Bunny and all kinds of other footage in there. It's cool. 
So you should watch it. It's on the website, as I mentioned. Now, yesterday, the Game Master and my wife and I went to see Ant-Man. And I had, my expectations were tiny, ant-sized. <laughs> I really didn't think it was going to be that good. But I went, eh, it's a Marvel film. Give them a break. Try, you know, go for it anyway. And I was actually quite pleased. It's a lot of fun. And to illustrate how much fun, you need to watch the trailers. I have trailer number one, which is, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, check it out. Then I have TV spot number five, which is fun as well. So check that out. You got to watch them. If you haven't seen Ant-Man, you won't really, it won't hurt you to see these, you know, <sighs> trailers, ads, however you want to look at it. But it's worthwhile. I encourage you to check it out. Okay. Now, this is interesting. Speaking of videos and embedded videos from YouTube in my blog, which I just talked about. YouTube viewing has climbed to an average of 40 minutes per session. What? 40 minutes? Watching YouTube? Most videos are short, like the trailers. But actually, I think the reason that we're now getting reported 40-minute average sessions is because now there's all kinds of stuff on YouTube. Movies, whole TV shows, the entirety of all the Star Trek episodes, they're all out there on YouTube. So 40 minutes? Yeah, okay. I can see that. Now it's not just stopping at mobile use. It says a number of key executives at Google have referenced the fact that YouTube is going after more traditional TV, saying that YouTube reaches more people between the ages of 18 and 29 than any other cable television network. YouTube. So people are changing the way they look at YouTube. Okay? Now this item. Adobe is making Flash somewhat safer <laughs> with Google's help. All right, I noticed this past week that Firefox is beginning to block Flash. Now that's 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 harsh. <laughs> but anyway, we're talking about when I say Flash, I'm not talking about the Flash TV show. I'm talking about Flash, the protocol that allows you to watch videos. Obviously, that is being replaced with HTML5 as well it should. But at any rate, it says here, Adobe is under tremendous pressure to do more than secure its Flash Player technology, which has been aggressively exploited in 2015. However, Adobe isn't alone in its efforts to secure Flash. A very key ally is contributing significantly to Flash's defense, none other than Google. Good old Google stepping in there to help. Excuse me. <coughs> As usual, my throat is drying out yet again. What is it about? It must be the lights or something in here. Plus, we have very dry air in the house. <sighs> so, <coughs> I'll try to control, control the voice. Okay. The Pluto photos are amazing. Have you been keeping up with the Pluto flyby? The New Horizons probe? Dude, it's very, very cool. You should check it out. I have a picture on the blog of the ice mountains of Pluto. Sounds like a bad movie, doesn't it? <laughs> ice mountains of Pluto. Anyway, check it out. They say most of the mountains are actually real ice. As cold as it is on Pluto. Ah, thank you very much. <coughs> My wife helping me out with water. Ooh, a new one. I had to actually work at uncapping it. Ah, see, I cheat and refill the bottles. I know. That's not a good practice. <laughs> I mean, the whole idea of buying bottled water is because it's bottled and it's supposedly filtered and all those kinds of things. Well, to me, water is H2O. You know what I mean? So there you go. So I really should remember that I must have water to do a show. Lest my throat dry out and I cough as I did mere moments ago. Anyway, Pluto. <laughs> Pluto, from my point of view, let me tell you this, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Pluto is a planet. I have said that it is so, thus it is so. 
so it shall be written, so it shall be done. <laughs> I mean, give me a break. They say that the big thing that Pluto doesn't do, it orbits the sun, it's round-ish, and it has moons, but the one thing that they say makes it not a planet but a dwarf planet is that it doesn't clear its path of its, of its orbit. It's in the Kuiper Belt, guys! There's stuff out there. If Earth was in that same orbit, we wouldn't clear out the stuff either. So what are we, not a planet? Give me a break. We are, in fact, a planet. Earth is. And Pluto, Pluto, I mean, good old Pluto. He's always been a good dog for Mickey. Yes, well, same name. <laughs> Fred's reminded me that that's a cartoon. This is a planet. But it is a planet. It is. I think so. Whatever you think, fine. <laughs> anyway, I've got a picture here on the blog of the mountains, the ice mountains of Pluto. They really ought to make that into a movie, Fred. Oh, really? Directed by Fred. That I gotta see. Actually, I don't know if I want to see that now. <laughs> okay. Um, Fred's, Fred's a bit of a character. Okay. Oh! <laughs> you just were waiting for that, weren't you, Fred? Geek Software of the Week music. Anyway, the Geek Software of the Week drum roll. It's a drum roll. It's not actually music. It's a drum roll. Which you just heard. Is... <laughs> That, you, that was good, Fred. You caught me on that one. Okay. <laughs> I was about to change gears, and he just completely changed them for me. Geeks of the Week this week is Cody. K-O-D-I Cody. Yes, not Commando Cody, you know, with the rocket belt thing. No. <laughs> Boy, you got to really be old to remember that one. But anyway, Cody is the new name for XBMC. The award-winning open source, hey, open source, uh, software media player center center for playing <laughs> videos, music, pictures, games, and more. It runs on Linux OS 10, which would be Mac, Windows, <laughs> iOS, and Android. Dude, there's a version for everybody. It features a 10-foot user interface. If you have a screen that large, but no, well, that's what it says, a 10-foot user interface for use with televisions and remote controls. What? It allows users to play and view most videos, music, podcasts, and other digital media files from local and network storage media and the internet, or the interwebs, as we like to call it. Yes, the forums and the wiki are bursting with knowledge to help the new user right up to the application developer. So, <coughs> hold on. You have no idea how old that gets. <laughs> I know, you're sitting there going, yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> you know, I was just thinking about Fred. I'm sorry, Fred, I've told you to pass. You can't have the water because it's not virtual. But I was just imagining Fred sitting over there as the imaginary friend that he is, shriveling up in the heat and the dryness that is the studio here. Sorry about that, Fred. Anyway, so the Geek Software of the Week this week, you should really try it. I tried it. It's actually quite cool. It basically will allow you to go out and find all the video and all the audio and pictures and everything you have on your computer if you run it on a Windows PC and then give you an interface. Now, particularly with my 26-inch HD 16x9 screen on my computer, it's actually like watching TV when you watch TV <laughs> through Kodi. Cool! And it even supports um, remote controls if you have the proper hardware hardware <laughs> that's a inference 
to Hardware Wars. Hardware Wars. You'll laugh. You'll cry. You'll kiss two bucks goodbye. Yeah, back when movies were two bucks. <laughs> a very old reference. But anyway, Hardware Wars. Boy, I'm digressing. And now, the last item we have for this week is a little bit of geek culture, which is the Ant-Man trailer for Japan. Yes! Check it out! Japanese <laughs> blurbage <laughs> in there as well. You know, the Game Master is big on Japanese. He's had many Japanese courses. He's been to Japan. He's the Japanophile. Yes, I've been to Japan too when I was 16 years old. So you can tell how long ago that was. <laughs> yes! So anyway... <laughs> Japan runs deep in our family. <laughs> Not the force, Japan. <laughs> I like it. So have yourself some water. Try not to dry out your throat. <laughs> and remember until next time that the doctor is out of here. Dr. Bill, the Computer Promotion is a production of DrBillDaily.net with all the honors, rights, and privileges thereunto appertaining.